Well, I got out of Texas for like three days, but now I'm back in Texas. last video I said that I was looking to go west well I did I went I picked up a load in Bossier City going to Loveland Colorado and Denver Colorado and then after that I went down to Pueblo Colorado and picked up a load of chillers coming to Mission Texas and so now I'm probably about seven miles from the border um, all the way down here in the tip of uh, Texas and I don't deliver till Monday so I'm on a 34 just been cleaning to make. I did not finish cleaning yesterday. Um, I got busy talking to my wife after I parked and um, I did do, I did clean my, uh, my front windshield inside and out because this new truck, brand new truck, I mean I put like 53, 54,000 miles on it so far, but um, it's already got a leak. Like I don't know. So, when it's hot outside and then it gets cold, or whether it's cold and then it gets hot outside, you get moisture on the front windshield, and um, I don't know, it was leaving spots. So, I cleaned that, and then I had a couple of water lines where it rained pretty hard in a few places, <coughs> and that stuff was, uh, was coming through as well. So, what I did is I went ahead and I just went ahead and cleaned the whole inside windshield, the outside windshield yesterday whenever I fueled, and um, so that looks a lot better now. But as far as like the interior cleaning that I usually do about once a week, um, yeah, I gotta do it today. But uh, I don't know. Uh, this load, get you in focus here, this load actually rode really good on the way here. I was kind of sketchy, like I was kind of nervous let me see if I can get this in the in the frame here. But there's a sharp edge up there. And so you see I put my edge protection on the front set. But if you come back here to the back, it doesn't have that same, <clears throat> I don't know, it kind of wraps, wraps around. The middle kind of wraps around a little bit up there, you can see. So I didn't use edge protection on the back. But it rode really good, no problems. And even though it looks like a full load, it's probably about 18, 19,000 pounds. It says 21,000 on the bills, but my air gauge on the inside says different. So uh, I'm just fixing to, I wanted to get out and do a quick walk around of the truck real quick and make sure everything's nice and tight still. 
and there's a little taco joint just in walking distance. It's literally on the other side of the parking lot. I'm fixing to go over there and get some tacos. And, and then when I'm going to come back to the truck and I'm actually going to clean like I said I would yesterday. So that's what's on the agenda for today. I hope you all have a nice weekend. I will be back sometime next week. I want to do a legit Rand McNally review. I have the 5 inch. I also have the 7 inch. My 7 inch messed up. And I think I have reasons why it messed up. So I'm going to talk about that in my next video. So make sure to stay tuned. And I'll see you here in a couple days. Peace.